Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode one of season three of Love Live Superstar. It it's it feels weird, even though it's it's been a week later since this premiered, and you know everything that has happened and stuff, getting ready for a hurricane, work, postponing ish, all of that. And trying to now catch up and such. Trying to do as much as I can before I go to work tomorrow. Because I'm going to have this actually come out tomorrow. So that when I come home, I can instantly do episode two. And I think Uzumaki. Probably, yeah, episode two, Uzumaki. And maybe Pretty Cure. It just depends on how much I can get done before I go to bed tonight. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started. So I can see my number one best girl in three, two, one, go. She better pop up in like the first minute. <laughs> Well, we're supposed to get like an OVA or we're just continuing. We're continuing right where this leaves off. Is the turquoise girl new? Yeah, because I don't remember her. So if we're looking at like all the girls in the series of Love Live are group wise, they're like the what the biggest group officially as of now. That are Nijigasaki, right? Nijigasaki has to be like a close second. Like, why aren't we leaving? Okay, then what is it? So you gotta study with the best girl to get the best of the best. I, I love that. I love that. Yeah. Because that's a win in my book, babe. Right? You didn't win, though. They won. 
And this is your chance to, instead of being by yourself all the time, to be in a group. And we know you're in it because you're in the opening. Yeah. Yeah, but I... You know, I was really excited for her to travel just as much as she was. I was ready for a big old OVA and everything, and then no. Um... Well, I mean, since you are Love Live Champs, you got to be the best of the best, right? Once again, she's not really in Vienna. She's like, what, five feet away from you? Not that close, not that far. <laughs> Is it just gonna be caught on like hiding from them for the whole season? If the, I, I'm here all for it. She's right there. You have no choice. Once again, you have no choice. You're doing it. You're joining. We all know it's going to happen. reminds me of um it, it's the one girl who i like in uh nuchisaki <laughs> oh god
Well. Honey, you gotta tell him. You can't avoid them forever, honey bunny. So it just happened. No biggie. Oh, ew. Babe. Obviously, I mean, look at her. We understand that, but it's going to happen. We know that. I know that. You know that. Everybody knows that. The opening spoiled everything, honey bunny. So come on now. Stop being selfish. It won't happen. Right? I mean, do you, do you want to fight? I mean, she she's really talking some smack right now. And, and see, I love hate her. I just, but you know, she got away with words. I'll say that. Oh, gee.
Yeah, because you only really need two more now. Take all the time you need. Oh, gee! Can I get a paper cut again? Beautiful. But you can, you know how like some songs and the way some people sing something, not only the emotion, you can feel that there's a lot of hurt in that. She's angry. Angry that she lost. Angry that she's here and she has to <laughs> be taught by my personal best girl. That's bitter. Bitterness. I tell so good, I'm hungry. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Unfortunately. Would be for nothing. No. For a little while.
I opened my door. Oh, it's not that loud. I'm still gonna hear that music. No. You guys, it's gonna be okay. Mm hmm. And we can always talk, so don't cry. Mm hmm. I wonder how this is going to go and play out because, yeah, they're both on opposite ends now. Are we seeing different episodes every single week going back and forth? Stop being a hard ass. Come on. So it'll be you and her. No. I think this is an interesting idea. I mean, one, let's just say this. Love Live has never done this shit before. Excuse my language. But it is true. Love Live has never really done something like this where you take the leader of the group and instantly put her in another group with somebody else planning for her, Margareta, to join the group officially. And it makes me wonder, one, how long is this going to take two once again as i said are we going back and forth between each episode or one episode it's going to be focused on our main girls and then the second episode margarita and kanon and back and forth until kanon comes home and brings margarita with her possibly but no this first episode was really good it feels good feels really wonderful i hope this season is going to be just as good as, as last year's if not better you know we all know the feels are going to be there they're definitely they always always hit but once again you started the episode with the best girl so that is 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 definitely would freaking recommend um adorable af would rewatch this episode again She's pretty though. I will say that. Um, but would her and Magarete be like the only two first years? Because everybody is everyone else is third years. So when they graduate, it's only gonna be two again. And I'm gonna be sad. <laughs> no. This is Muse all over again when we finally <laughs> when we got to the last season and majority of the girls are graduating and you know just talking about one the future and being like okay what are they going to do or with um aquas and their situation this is why the one thing that i dislike about idols in general and stuff especially when it is a group of idols in a group or even if it's just a solo person guy girl whoever um is the day they have to disband. I think that is the most horrid thing in the world. And they dis they finally decide to do retirement. That's the same thing of, okay. So one of my favorite actors, she's not one of my favorite actors of like all time, but I really love her work. I've loved 
anything that she's in. Um, the current series that she's currently in now that just officially started will unfortunately be her last series. I'm talking about the wonderful Miss Kathy Bates. That woman is an incredible actress and she officially talked about, I think, the night or a couple of days leading up to the premiere of her new brand new show on CBS um, here in America that after she is done with this, whenever she is, that she will officially go into retirement. And so when I look at how far she's come as an actress, like I, I wanted her and like still, still till this day because I love the crap out of American Horror Story and because um, it is my thing and I love the crap out of American Horror Story oh so much and will also live and die on that thing of once again when Coven was airing at the time when I was watching it, it's still one of the best fucking seasons on in the series of all time. Um, I love any season when she comes back. Same thing with everybody in that ensemble cast. When they come back or if they want to do something continuously with it. But when you get actresses like her and so many others who have been in that show or done like so many incredible things and they retire as an actor and they're officially like, I am in my era of, I just want to live the rest of my life peacefully and such it feels almost like not only the end of someone, it feels like the world is ending, that we've lost someone, but not in a way, you know, tragically. Um, but for the entertainment industry, it is tragically. And that's what it kind of feels like with this. We're at the beginning of the end for these girls because once we possibly get to the end of this, we're not going to see them anime-wise anymore. Probably we'll still get a movie or something for it, uh, of course. But there's going to be a day where they're going to disband. Because, like, Muse disband a while ago. Like, <laughs> and I don't like talking about it because it makes me cry. And it, it just, it hurts. I I hate seeing it for any group because I'm like, I want them to stay together forever. But I get it. They have to move on to bigger and better things and grow from it and such but you still severely wish that they could stay together forever and continuing to be together and I know each and every one of those girls are still thriving like um how can we talk like okay Haneo I'll give you the, the big example right now freaking Haneo I never would have thought that that girl her say you would be in Genshin Impact and like that's nuts to me she was one, she was like, not, she was not on my list of care of Seiyus to be in that game and such. But once again, the sky is the limit for any of these girls who join this series and this community. And after when they're, when it's said and done at the end of the day, when it is time for them to wrap up that character, the series, everything, and they go on to other things, you're just super proud of them. And you just still support them at the end of the day, regardless. But no, this was a really good start for this episode. I'm super excited to see how the rest of the season is going to pay off, most definitely. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode one of season three of Love Life Superstar. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day, join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys tomorrow when I come home from work for episode two, but until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!